Just to clarify, these views that we speak of on our podcast are 100% our own and not those associated to anyone from Luton Town Football Club. Thank you very much. And welcome to Oh and the Town, and here's what's coming up today. We take a look back at Luton Town's 3 0 defeat to Manchester United in the Carabao Cup third round. It may look like it was easy for Manchester United, but I tell you what, it wasn't. We were great. We're also going to take a look at the Watford fixture of the weekend. It's our first local derby in what, 14, 15 years? Oh, it's a big week of football, and we promised you another podcast. Unfortunately, we couldn't get this one on video. This is audio exclusive only, so if you're listening, you're special. Uh, I'm joined tonight by Dave and Bataro. As always, evening, evening guys. Hello, hello, hello. Evening. evening. I feel evening. like, look, we're full of energy, despite a 3-0 defeat to Manchester United. But what? It was just... Well, why wouldn't you be? Mate, in all fairness, that 3-0 flattered him. I'm sorry, it really did. Well, well, which is, it was 1-0 to 88 minutes, wasn't it? So, you know, come on. We had a chance, to, We had a chance, didn't we? We had a little chance, and... and oh. I didn't think I'd be this gutted because actually mm. I genuinely when it started I thought oh, I don't care if we win as long as we play well but I, f- I feel we gave them a good a good shot you can't I don't think they did as proud didn't they they really did yeah I agree with that absolutely proud I'm so proud I mean you're all proud everyone's proud come on man if I think everyone proud, is proud mad. and it's it's like we've said look 3-0 and they've had to bring on three massive players mm. at the end like when when they made them subs I think I said to you I was like look at look at these three players coming on we like, what well, can we? you what can yeah, you do? Just laughed. And I said, if one of these three players score, you can't be angry. Two of them did. Yeah. <laughs> They're England internationals. <sighs> well, you say that, but Greenwood likes to go back to hotel rooms, didn't he? Instead of uh, uh, hey, hey, playing hey, on the pitch. Leave, leave, leave that out. Leave that out. <laughs> Either or. Anyway, let's get Here are some three-word reviews from tonight's 3-0 defeat to United. Uh, Chris says, scoreline flattered United. Richard said, Greenwood, Rashford, Fernandez. Antonio <laughs> says, all about Saturday. John Earl says, bloody Dean Henderson. Liam says, take the positive. Uh, Richard says, Peter Chioso's rapid. Dave says, no disgrace at all. Another one, Chioso was great. Good battling performance. We could have won. Very strong performance. Played with effort. Everyone's everyone's happy. Very, very proud, someone says. It's not often you're happy with a 3-0 defeat, exactly. is it? Let's be fair. And 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 I for, for me, uh, like I said, when the game began, I wasn't really that bothered if we won or lost. But we actually, after that first onslaught that we took, and we started mm. getting a grip on, on our own possession, I thought we did really well. I can't fault many, if any, of the team. I don't think you fault anyone no, for no. that performance. You can't fault anyone. I mean, you, you're matching the class above, really, at the end of the day, and plus... If anyone gets this, well, anyone feels disgruntled or anything about that performance, then you need to sort yourself out because that was impressive. We looked like a Premier League team, I'd say, for at least 60, 70 minutes in that game, did we not? We look class, we man. We look good. We look good. I mean, Crystal Palace or whatever, at the end of the day, like, they won 3 1. People go, yeah, but they not free past them and they're Crystal Palace, but it don't matter. Football, I've seen a few obviously comments and people text me earlier and that going, oh, yeah, you can see this and that, three, like two late goals, but it, it don't matter. The team worked we hard. Disgraced. The team worked hard the yeah. whole time. I mean, they had to work their asses off tonight. Mm-hmm. You have to though against yeah, Premier League quality like that. There was times where Manchester United's passing was sublime compared to us, and you know you could see the golf in class at times. 100%. How many times as well do you see Premier League standard quality teams setting up like how we did? Trying to contain Man United or yeah. trying to counter? You see it all the time. It's nothing. I mean, look at I mean Club Bruges for instance. They're a European standard level team. They lost 5 0 last season to Man United. It's no disgrace. It's a similar sort of team as well, if not a weaker side. So mm-hmm. look, we, can take, not, we can take it. We can take yeah, credit from that. I, I think you should. And I, uh, you know, at the end of the day, every team member put in a performance, mm-hmm. which is what you want, isn't it? If, and, and it's just a, such a shame that we weren't there. Oh, it's, man, and it's maybe, cutting. just maybe the home crowd might have swayed it a little bit more for our favour. But, you know, you, you can't walk away from that and go, do you know what? It was. It wasn't a bad defeat. That's probably one of the the one things you could look at the night and just say if if that had a Pat Kenilworth Road or Kenilworth Court, as Laura Woods like to call it in Sky <laughs> hey, Sports tonight, hey, um, that it would have been. It just would have been a bouncing night, Kenilworth Road. It, w- it would have been unreal. And you know when Lockyer has that header saved, the the you know the 
motivation the crowd would have probably yeah and and given. maybe intimidation because you know Manchester United needed to win really they're under it, it they? yeah because yeah. they're under a lot of pressure so maybe the motivation would have been there for you know our team to move on and yeah. you know but you just got to think that that was one chance but up until the 88th minute we still had a chance I mean, yeah. we we had half chance of the old game let's face it I mean we look we looked deadly at times I mean, more more so maybe in the first half, we looked like we could... I mean, the offside from Danny Hill, for example, when he hit the Dean Anderson straight, pinpoint yeah. or whatever, it was a close decision yet again. And look, we didn't look scared. We never looked frightened of Man United, which, I mean, some teams go... Well, I say some teams not go there, but they play against United and they think, we better just don't concede, don't try not to concede or whatever else. But I think we, I feel like we give it a right go. And I'm, do you know what? I'm really fucking proud of it. I'm so happy about it. It also, it also shows the depth of our squad as well. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, nine changes from the weekend. Yeah. It shows the depth of our squad and the quality that we have right now. So, you know, that should, that should serve us well moving on. We're talking yeah. about depth of squad. When the team news came in, um, well, actually all day in the build-up, I've seen like Man United Twitter accounts saying like, oh, you know, we're expecting to play a few youngsters tonight and stuff. When United's team was announced, I looked at it and thought, that is a very strong team. Like, that's, that, that team, Atari, the reckons would finish off. top 10 Premier League. And yeah. I, I would I'm probably not disagree. It's not far off their first team, really, let's face it. I mean, I mean, come on, man. Who can play like... That back four there was their that back, back four. That back four is their season. back four in the Premier League. Yeah. By I mean, Maguire, Dean William. Henderson. For me, he was the best player, in, best goalkeeper in the Premier yeah. League last season. If you're going to point it out like that, I mean, Matic, Fred, holding midfield or whatever, yeah. just oozing, and then just oozing. One masters, won the World Cups and mm-hmm. Premier Leagues, and it's crazy, isn't it? It's actually mad. And they did not look that much better than us. No, they just that's that, the thing. They like, and like Dave said, we made it. nine changes and we looked okay. And that's the thing, we looked. Really we good. Look, no, we look comfortable. Take that back. We looked more than okay. We yeah. looked more than okay. I think. Tonight. I think once we got the possession, I mean, the, the, let's be fair. The opening 10, 15 minutes was a bit like how many a man you're not going to score because they had yeah. total possession. They were playing the ball really slickly, but after a while, we got into the game and you know, Loire Loire started getting the ball and moving it, and it was brilliant. I, I you know, th- the result is not the problem really. Yeah. Oh, so the the performance, and it just sets us up well for the weekend. I hope. I tell you what, fucking hell, we can play like against United, and why can't we go and match the scammers and like even grab something against them? Why can't we? Why can't we? You tell me. Everyone's it's going to be an interesting we? weekend, mate. Mm. It's going to be good. It's honestly this week. I'm I'm so proud with that performance tonight. And I'm sure a lot of Luton fans are. Um, when you think about that that first half. United had a matter had that good chance, a couple of chances which Shea, Shea saved did really well. Hey, hey, listen, let's not let's not leave out Shea. He had an outstanding performance this evening. Mm-hmm. Outstanding. Yeah, he made some really good saves. He it's looked like, he looked comfortable as well, yeah, didn't yeah. he? Totally. He's Shea. kind of the forgotten man a little bit, isn't he? As well, Shea. I mean, he done well for us well in League Two, League One. So big shout out to Shea, he mate. He's done it right. He did well last year as well when he was in. Oh yeah, that was a championship, wasn't it? Yeah. Hell, yeah, he did come from a bit, didn't he? Yeah, of course. Told Sorry, you you've got, got bad, bad memory, mate. I told yeah. you the other day in the group chat you got bad memory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, then this, nah, let's not go there. We yeah. didn't really have many chances in the first half, did we? I think we had like a header, like Clark had a header. Um, Hilton had like a near post shot. But we were still creating like half chances, weren't we? And, and when you, like you said, you look at the defence we're creating half chances against, yeah. you've got to be happy with that. It's more it's more so the pattern of play and how we was doing things as well. The, the pattern of play, was for me, was incredible. The way we set up, there was always two over on the whip. It was great to see. Yeah, Defending with a two, the wingers always came inside or the fullbacks go out wide and so on. And the way we broke it, it was so impressive. I mean, look, it's like I say, coaching, you've got to put it to Nathan Jones, I'll be honest, but I don't like to say it, but some people will sit there and slay to me for this. But, he got it right tonight. Even though we lost, he got it right. And people might sit there and go, yeah, but if he got it right, he would have won. But no, look, listen. No, for the, the team and changes he made, yes. which he has to do with the fixture list, simple as that. And like he said, there's no such thing as a B team as well. People sit there and go, that's his B team. That's not a B team, mate. Don't, those players there are good enough to play in our starting 11 week in, week out in the championship. Are they not? Maybe apart from a couple. Yeah, no, it's, it's not the one he's chosen to start, though, is it? That's the thing. Yeah, but yeah, yeah but everyone knows that those players there can do a job in the championship. Though. Everybody also knows that it's more important not tonight. Everybody knows that, so you don't want to you don't want to put your stress on those players that you really want to perform on the next game. So you can see why he left some people out. But we were we were holding our own, and how annoyed 
And how annoyed did we all get when that stupid, stupid oh, tackle? Penalty, terrible. Well, let's talk about the penalty. Monker um, made this this foul in like the forty fourth minute, and I think we said in like the forty second minute, we were like, "Can we just get to half time nil nil? Because that'd yeah. be good." Thirty six, like bang, that happens. Just stupid, weren't it? Oh, I it love start, Monker. Start it Lockyer, was a, it was a silly challenge, wasn't it? It all started. From, it all stemmed from Lockyer's shit ball out or whatever. He punt, didn't he punt it against Shinny and then next yeah, minute he went straight to Brandon Williams and then yeah, he just yeah. nicked it past uh, Moncara and then yeah. that's it, he put his foot in. But and, and also the, the Premier League player knows how to fall over quite well, yeah, doesn't of course he? Course it did. And, course. and as soon as he pointed at the spot, he, oh, I think we all swore a bit. Minimal we? contact, you know it's he's going down, you know yeah. it's going to be a penalty. And you'd have called it straight away, yeah, yeah of course. It's, we, it's just we, disappointing we though, it. isn't it, that you, know, you, you put up a fight for 45 minutes against Manchester United's very strong team. And the way you can see the goal is is a penalty. And it's like I said to you, I was like, whenever they got a corner, I was like, just don't concede the corner. Mm-hmm. I know they've got Harry Maguire who's worth 80 million. Just don't concede the corner. And then we go give away yeah, a penalty. They didn't, they didn't threat for many of those corners, did they? Let's be fair. They didn't threat. No, we look more deadly. Not really. I had a couple of shots on goal. Shea made a few saves and, and some really good saves. And then we stupidly throw them that, that, that lifeline here. Have a, have a goal on us. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. Yeah. Have a goal on us. Which was a shame, but you know, like we said, well, we've said many times, is the quality in that team. That's just, it's just hard to even look back and be annoyed at it. Really, it is really difficult, isn't it? And in that second half, we started again, pretty much the same. I felt like we were on top. I, United didn't have really a shot until that one that was cleared off a line. I think by us, mate. Uh, uh, mate, at one point in about 38, 40 minutes, we were, we had a, we had two more shots than I believe, but or one more, t- one or two more shots. Wasn't there a stat? Uh, te- last ten minutes played seventy yeah. percent possession for yeah. us. So no, we 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 did held our own. Um, yeah, come on, we we could have created maybe a couple more chances, but we we not going to be we, about the, it. I, no. d- d- the fight was good. The, do you know what you want when you're when you're watching your team? You want them to play their asses off. And tonight you could go, you could have walked away from that stadium and gone. Do you know what? We gave it a best shot. Mm-hmm. Do you know what? Just going back to that stat when. It was like in the first half, and it said last ten minutes, Luton seventy percent possession against Manchester United's like first team, and like for Luton fans who have been around for ages, like you, we just got to look at that and just say we remember losing two one at home to Hyde. Yeah, it's progress. And to look at look at that, even if it's over a ten minute spell of a game against them players that we had seventy percent possession. Huh. For me, that blows my mind, and it might. I don't know if it does to you listening right now, but to me, you, I think you look at that and you think. I know we can't always we can't always say this, but seven years ago we were losing two one at home to Hyde, and you know, and that's the thing losing a, home to Braintree. And there's a right. generation of Luton Town supporters that have never seen a match of that level. No generations now. I luckily am. for me, I'm old, so I've seen a lot. <laughs> no, but generally I've seen I saw all our first division stuff. Yeah, and I and I and I go back to the seventies and I see when we was in the first division there, but for for younger people. This was probably one of the biggest teams they've seen at our stadium. Yeah, and to be that good against them yeah. with our changes we made, again, just I, unreal. I think we're also seeing as well how pro, uh, football's progressing now as well, how the, the teams are kind of levelling out. I mean, we're championship level, right? We're probably expected to finish probably about 18th, 19th, as, you know, the neutral, whoever else would say. But mm-hmm. I think football now is bridging the gap a little bit more. And you're seeing that more. The quality, the quality step is going down the leagues a little bit more. You're seeing championship play. I mean, certain level. Would you of say that style of play? Um, I'd say it's a bit of everything. Style of play. It's um, talent. I mean, the talent in the championship now is probably equivalent to how Premier League was ten years ago. I mean, I mean, people argue that, but I mean, I can sit here and I can have conversation with people who want to have that. There were there I'm were times is, yeah. tonight. There were times tonight when. Uh, you could see the gulf between our mm-hmm. two teams. There were times of that, but there was also times yep. where there wasn't. You know, the, where we actually held our own. And I, I, I agree with what you just I said. I also feel like the lower league teams are getting stronger. And I mean, even us, we might not realise sometimes because we get beaten by I know, a, a team around about the same level as us, maybe a QPR or something like that. But I think we can look at it and go, we've got some real quality players there that can compete with certain players. You know I mean, like I say, sometimes it's matching styles of players to, to compete with each other. It might be certainly, certainly that at times, but look, it's, it's nice to be to excited see, yeah. about your team mm-hmm. though, isn't it? It's nice to, it's nice to watch a game and it, we've lost bloody three nil this evening and yeah. we're all sitting here going, do you know what? We did all right. We did. It gives us confidence right. though, doesn't it? 
Yeah, but and that's the point because you know, let's be fair. It would have been nice to win the league cup again, uh, but you know, I, I stress the word again because <laughs> we've already won it once. But you know, yeah, we weren't there. You were nice one, Dave. Cheers, mate. Yeah, but it would have been nice. To, it would have been nice to progress, but when you put in a performance and you look at some of those players this evening, Bradley, mm. the wild, oh, wild. brilliant. Well, before we get into the players, let's just yeah. talk about the chance we had. The best chance of the game for us was the the header, the header, hey. <laughs> the header from Tom Lockyer. That's and, what um, Steve saying frontier, isn't it? frontier. Oh, I'm a part of frontier. It is. <laughs> Sorry, Steve, you're listening, mate. Okay, just for context, one of our mates wanted to order a uh, frontier and said frontier. <laughs> Embarrassing. But either way, Tom Lockyer header. Um, Dean Henderson's not had anything to do much all night, really, like save wise, and he's he's pulled off a save. Like Patara says, probably the best keeper in the Premier League last season. And he's he's come up trumps with his his one big save of the night, but mm-hmm. we thought it was in, didn't we? We cheered. Oh yeah. bloody hell! We're celebrating really. twice, yeah, twice. Yeah, because the second one's off I mean, the line. But bye. You know, another day Hilton's foot hits that before the defender gets it, so we 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 couldn't believe it hadn't hit the back of the net. Yeah, it's, it's going. I mean, I even put my back out even more. I mean, I got a real severe. Back, and at one one, we right go now. on and win that game, man. Yeah, I tell that's you. It. I mean, just to get up and just do that, you thought, that's it, I don't give a fuck about this. I mean, I go through the pain for another three or four days, but, and then to realise it don't go in, you think, I ain't actually, you know what, why have I done that? What a tip, but never mind. To be fair, in it's any other game in the championship, you think that's, that probably goes in, doesn't it? That's the thing. It was a perfect delivery from Shinny, I think. No, you're saying no. Uh, uh, no, I'm not saying no. Whoever took the free kick, know, it know. was a great free kick and it was a great header and just, yeah, no, it just, was on target yeah. right in that corner. And then you see him bringing on three subs and them three subs are Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford and Mason Greenwood. And I said to you, and we said this at the start of the podcast, you look at that and you just, what can you do? You what can, what you, can you do when they're bringing on them three yeah, players? It's hard to compete against so saying, 15 people of that calibre. Fresh pace, every, everything about it. It's Any just, team class. in the world would see them three coming on in the last right. five minutes and go, well, shit, that's going to be tough. Yeah, of course they would. I mean, mate, they're, they're young, they're pacey, do you know what I'm saying? It's, and it proved to be, didn't it? It's mad. Yeah. Yeah. It proved to be. And, and it was, it's just, I don't think we deserved that. You know, lose 1-0, yeah, okay. Listen, we didn't, the, the scoreline flatters. It anyway. flatters them, but then it's like, you, you bringing on fresh legs, Mason Greenwood, Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes against our, you know, Sonny Bradley's played five games now in, what, two weeks and... Can I just say, you know, Sammy Bradley was absolutely fucking top notch tonight. Can I just say that? You know what? You can say. It. I was going to ask you. So, unreal, if we man. look at Luton's players tonight, we did a man of the match poll. Let's just have a look at uh, what people have been saying. Who stood out for you? Because we we asked who was your man of the match. We gave four options. We gave Kyoso, Bradley, Tunney, and Kaz, and then loads of people suggested Shea as well. But Kyoso at the moment has got fifty six percent of the votes. Really? Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not really surprised. I say I don't know what I'm saying really for because at the end of the day, I said to you, didn't I, Greg? I mean, at this one point, professional full yeah, debut for Luton. Kioso, that's something. First, like professional debut, like you say, or full debut. Kioso, Bradley, Tony Cliff for the three. They were the three that stood out for me today. I find it. I stri- find it a struggle. Sorry, between for me, it's Tony Cliff or Bradley. I'll be honest. Out of the two, I can't pick between them. I think Kioso is good, but I think he got maybe. Lack of fitness or whatever in the last sort of twenty thirty, but he was no nah, where he's came from. I mean, playing for Dunstable Towns a couple of years back or whatever, Hartlepool last season. He deserves to be proud of himself tonight, and he deserves a big clap, a big round of applause because he has been it. He, he must be class. absolutely buzzing. Imagine and good on him as well. Getting your full debut at home to Manchester United, mm-hmm. and he and to be honest, he looked like he looked like he could do a job us this season in the league to be honest I would have no problems mm-hmm. playing him you know in if we needed back if, if Bree's injured if Craney can't play I'd have no problem putting him in no. what do you think Dave I uh, I sort of agree with everything you've said I, I thought Bradley had an outstanding game I thought Kioso had an outstanding game I thought I thought that the whole team played really mm. well you know it was, it's unfortunate I mean maybe Hilton you know at times could have played a little bit better but apart from that you need, you need to give him the the option to to play well, don't you? Know, and like sometimes feed him a bit more yeah. as well. In delivery, yeah. yeah. So we didn't have any luck tonight. So yeah, I um, I Shay, for me, I you know, look at the saves he made. Look at the saves he made. He commanded you know. as well. Yeah, and and you know, actually, I you, you I expected him to after the first couple. I'm thinking, well, he's going to save that. Mm-hmm. So you know, it's hard to pick man of the match for I me. Mean, we all sat in it. We at one point saying, I mean. Who feels comfortable? We all said, I looked at you and went, who feels comfortable with Shane Goal? 
We all do. Yeah. No one ever feels dissatisfied or. Do you know what I mean? I'm hearing about it. It's fine. It's good. It's good to can have you, a goal. A second choice believe, goalkeeper. Can you like believe that. we've lost and we're talking this positive? It's mad, isn't it? It's crazy. No, I can believe it, Dave, because we played Man United tonight, and I tell you what, like, like everyone keeps saying, three 0 flattered them. It really did. We deserve a three 0 scoreline. I'm sorry. For me, I think Tunnicliffe played really well today. Tunnicliffe has probably had one of the best games he's ever had against yeah. for us. I think tonight. He I don't know what it was proof. about him, but it was just like. He was a different player. Yeah, I feel like that was the ton of cliff we were expecting to get when his we his old team as well. It's yeah, pr- proved, didn't he? And so. do you know what I liked about ton of cliff was picking up them balls from the deep position, and I felt like he, you know, he got a bit of power and a few runs. You know, don't, don't make them gesture at me, but sorry. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because I said deep positions? <laughs> no, does that turn you on a little? Me saying that, yeah. You're filth. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> the cameras not but I thought ton of cliff did well. He, he's picking up these balls from deep. Stop doing it. So, Tony Cliff, when he, he picks up the <clears throat> balls from deep and he pushes from deep <laughs> forward. <laughs> oh, stop it. Just stop. No, seriously, stop it, please. This is ruining the podcast, it's Sitar, isn't it? Mate, stop it. <laughs> Either, I was impressed with Tony Cliff and the way he, he literally just drove forward. <laughs> literally, what else am I meant to say? <laughs> He was good. <laughs> it was, it was, it was Transition good. to play from defence to attack. There we go. That's that. You can't. He was good. That's something weird. Now, come on. It was no, he, was, he was good. I was impressed. And um, you've I, been, <laughs> you lot have been drinking, haven't you? He's been drinking, not yeah. me. I just hope we get more of that from Tunney. To be honest with you, it, 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 and it, you know what? He's giving Nathan Jones headaches again now. If if Glenn Ray is going to be potentially not fit enough for the weekend, mm-hmm. oh, he's going to be fit. Don't worry. Tons of balls. Oh, Glenn Ray's going to be fit and he's going to do Deeney in the first two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of balls everywhere doing Deeney. I love it, mate. I mean, I could watch that in all fairness. Either way, look, we're getting way off topic. Let's look at the weekend ahead then um, because we've got a massive game against Watford on Saturday. 12.30 kickoff. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? 12.30. That's all right. Throw up in the morning. Fro- throw up or throw up? <laughs> Full on up. <laughs> throw up. Throw up, fry up. <laughs> I throw up and a couple of pints of um, nice bitter. <laughs> bitter. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it, but I am going to be so nervous. I think when it comes to Friday evening, and you look at Watford's team as well, and like, look, let's everyone can sit there and bash Watford and stuff, but you look at Watford's team. Can you stop saying that <laughs> word? <laughs> oh my god! I'm just trying to talk here. I'm trying to run a podcast. Everyone can talk rubbish about Watford. It's comfort. But their squad, if we're looking at from a neutral point of view, is a strong squad for the championship. They lost 3-1 to Newport tonight. They drew 0-0 to Sheffield Wednesday last Saturday. Could, could we be facing them at a good time? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> or oh, it could be the same. If you really want to be subjective, yeah. if, you, if you look at the same way that... Man United needed to win this evening. Yep. And they need to do the same at the weekend. However, we put a stronger team out and I think our team knows how passionate it needs to be. I think the Lewin players will understand this passion more than the Watford players. Yeah, I agree. We? Totally agree. And I can't... I know, I'm genuinely looking forward to it, but I know that I've started to already be a bit nervous about it. Obviously, Igalo used to play for Watford. He played for Manchester United tonight. And before the game, this Sky guy, was it, was it, um, I can't remember his name. Martin Tyler? Nah, no. Nah, the Sky guy was interviewing. He says to Igalo, um, you used to play for Watford, you must know all about Luton. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, do you? No, do you have any idea about no. who we are? Wait, of course I don't. against us? Because he didn't play against us, so how does he know anything? Yeah. No. Full of shit. It's, it's a passion that you, you, you just can't explain to people. Unless you're in it, you know. I think a couple will. Like Andre Gray will know the well, rivalry. Andre Gray, obviously. because he played for us. Ben Foster will know the rivalry. But someone like Etienne Kapue, Delafeu, that, give it, that they Saar. But they won't, give stuff. A, they won't give a shit about it. Will they understand? They won't understand. All they know is pay packets, so. Yeah. Hopefully it works in our But screen. if you look at our squad and you look at our team members, you know they all know what it means to us. All of them. Without mm-hmm. question, not one of those players will know, will not know, sorry, what the passion is for us supporters. And our manager knows it too. And he almost said that this evening on his, on his uh, interview from Sky. 
And we've also had a squad that's been there. Most of the squad's been there for a couple of years now as well, at least two to three years. I mean, we, we, half the squad's been there since League Two, for Christ's sakes. They know what it's all about. They know the passion. They know what the fans are about. They know are what we they getting to. too excited? I oh, don't There's nothing wrong with getting excited about Saturday. No, not just Saturday in particular. The, the season, really. Well, well, we're excited about the season, aren't we? The, the, the biggest thing is that fans aren't going to be allowed to return for yeah, even longer now. Sure. But, you know, it's still... Tonight, I genuinely felt excited to watch that game of football. And I, I love watching a game of football that we can lose 3-0 and come away and just be this fine about it and not really care. Well, yeah, Whereas Saturday, if we lose 3-0, I'm going to be absolutely gutted for the rest of Saturday evening. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to be drunk. <laughs> I don't blame. I think a lot of Luton fans are going to be drunk, to be honest with you. Um, Let's not even think about defeat because we've proven this evening that we can take the game to anyone. So you look at this starting eleven tonight... Obviously, Norrington, Norrington Davis is probably going to start at the weekend. Is there anyone else? Obviously, Bradley as well, probably. Is there anyone else out of that, that other nine that you could see breaking into that first team? Probably Jordan Clark. Clark was Clark well, Clark maybe away. Clark, yeah. yeah. But maybe no, even Lockyer. Lou Walawa was good tonight as well. Mm-hmm. Steven said in our group chat tonight, um, he's Lou Walawa had not, Matic and Fred on toast a couple of times tonight. Yeah, did, yeah. <laughs> but Lou Walawa is not starting Saturday. He's, he's off the bench. He's off the bench if he comes yeah, on Saturday. Yeah, I pretty agree with that finish. Not starting at all. Pelly will be in there. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. you probably got to look at Barry as well on his fit. I think, I think our midfield this evening were quite strong. I thought they played really well. Yeah, they really know. did. I mean, the thing is though, like, especially Tony Cliff, right? I mean, like I said, we, like I said earlier, Greg, we all expect that sort of performance from like, the likes of Tony Cliff and he can do that. Why don't we see that on a consistent basis? The thing is, for me, he had more of an incentive. Senti- Ugh, fucking hell, Jesus Christ. Come on, you'll get there. More of, it, more of an incentive there you tonight. Go. Yeah. There we go. Christ almighty. Maybe he just hasn't had the fair chance yet under Nathan Jones, and, and he's, a, he's a different player under Nathan. I hope so. But I hope he can do what he can do tonight, because I've watched well some highlights of him before he came, and he looked, he, he looked like the kind of player he looked like tonight. We need a, we Could need, he get in the team for Saturday, that. Tony? No. Why not? No? Well, it depends if Glenn Ray's You're saying there. no, why not? Uh, because I, I don't think he's in the manager's starting 11. What about if Glenn Ray's not fit? If Glenn Ray's not fit, it's a different matter, isn't I'd it? I'd say if Ray's not fit or Barry's not fit, I could see Tunney easily yeah, yeah, slotting so. in. But I think Barry's been, been good and has a reason to start. Barry will start, yeah. What? I, th- I think on Saturday, as long as we don't, we don't start, you know, straight away get 1-0 down, and that, that would do us. In, I think. So, you know, keep it clean for a couple of, you know, 10, 15 minutes and then push on because we once we get into the game, we're going to always create chances. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, how do you think we're going to set up on Saturday? Because I can't see us going 10 or 15 minutes then going, okay, let's push on. I see us going 80, 85 minutes maybe and going, all right, let's see if we can push on. We're going to have. I think we'd take a draw on Saturday, 100%, wouldn't we? I think I would yeah. take a draw, but I'd like to win. I think um, we might start slowly, but I think we're, we're good on the break and our away form. Has been excellent recently. I just feel that we need to take it to him on Saturday because I know they've lost a few, obviously, key players from last season. They haven't got this season playing for him. Well, I don't know if they've got him still or whatever, but you can see in the starting lineup last last week, week before, they haven't got him. But what I'm going to say is if we can take it to him, hopefully upset how they play. A bit yeah, like tonight. No, bit like tonight. I mean, just, just go at them a little bit. I mean, if you have to sit deep and just press we, them a we little can, bit higher. We, we, can, we can hold the ball up as well as they can and probably better than they can at times, I hope. We can make those chances. We can create some space. And if we've got the right attitude and we get the right chances, we'll score. And just kick them into next week. I don't give a shit if we break their legs. I was about to That's say, it. I think Saturday we need to be very disciplined mm-hmm. and, and focused. I feel like, you know, tonight... But also physical disciplinary. Well. Yeah, tonight could have been a good test in the sense of like shape wise, you have to be on it and you have to be fully focused and switched on. And it's like you, Dave, said at one point tonight is these Manchester United players that you have to be on it at all times. Mm. Yeah. But I feel like Saturday is going to be more of the same because Watford still have a very good Premier League squad and they have Premier League players. Yeah, absolutely. And, you, you, and we have to be switched you, you on. Can't, you, we have to. As be. much as we hate them, you can't. You can't forget that they are just down from the Premier League. Yeah, they've got crap loads of money that they've spent on players, whether legit or not legit. It's not the issue, mm-hmm. but they've paid, and those players are worth millions and millions of pounds, and ours aren't. Um, so you've got to. There, there, there may be a golf, but that's why we can o- on them. But we can overcome that. 
pressure's on them though, Saturday. Well, the pressure us. might be on it them, is. but for me, um, you just you just know that the you're going to absolutely be having a really bad weekend if we don't perform. That's it. We just can't lose Saturday. I mean, fuck Watford, they're shit anyway, so <laughs> they ain't going to finish nowhere near us this season. They're going to finish the second, they're going to finish, what, 16th? So, <laughs> don't matter. If it happens, will you get a tattoo <laughs> on your chest? Do you know what? <laughs> I'm not saying anything else. But no, it's going to be... Like it's actually, one. didn't you just say, didn't you say that you were going to tip a couple of bottles of uh, a pints of beer over your face? Do you know what? I, even, I do even more than that. I do even more than that. What so. will you do? I mean, you name it, I'll do it. Why would you waste beer? Sure Can't we do? Use Maybe I'll else? get some cheap beer. Don't worry about that. Okay, I'll get the shitty stuff. Either way, off it's off. exciting, isn't it? It's exciting that we're thinking about this fixture. Um, it's just a shame that we're not going mm-hmm. again. We've been waiting for this for fifteen years. It's finally, finally upon us. Well, at least you lot have been to. Uh, Luton well, you know, we going for. I mean, or what for Luton? Sorry, but uh, I, when I was like nine. Yeah, but I haven't been to one, mate. I've never seen it. That's when uh, Burko equalised. And you know what? Good time. We deserved it. We deserved it. I've seen so many games up up the up the allotments there that that we have outplayed them, and I just hope for one more this season. Mm-hmm. I've, I've seen some classic games there. I've seen some defeats there too, but you forget about them because the wins are much much nicer. They say, don't they? Much much nicer, and you know, you, and you know, the the league cup win the. The last minute win on the Boxing Day, the the four two win. You know, the word win is what we want on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Let's hope. Oh, just, just it's what we want. It's what we want. Twelve thirty kickoff is going to be a good one. Shall we? How drunk we're going to be by twelve thirty? I don't know. Hopefully not too pissed because I'm going to try and cook a throw up about half eleven. So um, going to cook a throw up. Oh yes. <laughs> Either way, look, we're running out of time for today. We wanted to keep it shorter than usual. Um, Manchester United post and Watford pre. So, ready for the weekend. I'll be pre, mate, if we win on Saturday, I'll tell you. <laughs> Fuck you, <yeah, now. laughs> uh, Thanks so much for listening to us today. If you missed our Derby podcast, that's kind of still relevant. You can go listen to that if you uh, want to hear our thoughts on the Derby game. Go get it on YouTube and SoundCloud and iTunes and Spotify and everything. And, and rate us five stars. Rate us five stars, why not? Get us on Twitter, Rowan the Town. Join us again next week where we'll be reviewing the Watford game and really hoping that it's for not a defeat, aren't we? Just yeah. not a defeat. If it's a defeat, I'm not coming on. Brilliant. Nah, it'd be fine, mate. We're going to win. Don't worry about that. Like I said, anything other than a defeat is a good result for us. So, Come on, you at us. Come on, you at us. Keep up to date with us. Come on. Oh, when the town on social media, we shall see you next week. <laughs>